Awakened Deathless Guillotine and a little bit of incursions run. Let's talk about everything around this champion. So uh, recently, because Kabam dropped that special objective, I had this weird feeling. Like, I did say to people, like, you probably would have to kind of go out of your way to get Deathless Guillotine if you had an opportunity. Yeah, it's annoying because uh, the way to get... that's I get people with frustrations and criticisms about where how to get this champion... And of course, you needed to do everything. Uh, the same thing with De Death as King Group. You have to do Alliance Wars Showcase. And you have to do um, Winter of Woe in order to get the champion. As well as other stuff you have to do. Like, you had to do that Karina's Challenge. Uh, it's still on there at the moment. And of course, if you didn't do the time-sensitive things that Kabam have, it's kind of like this year's felt very grindy. I mean, the end of last year did as well. But, look, I'm non-spending. Non-spending player. And I have achieved this. Because I saw some some criticisms about being free to play and not being able to achieve. Obviously, you need to be a certain place in the game and free to play to get it. But I know plenty of free to play players that have achieved getting uh, Deathless Guillotine. And of course, we'll get the same when it comes to, you know, the um, uh, Deathless King group. Which I'm looking forward to getting next week. But this video is going to be about this lovely champion right here. I'm still undecided on some of the things when it comes to, like, synergies. As I have... Oh, at the moment, I'm only planning Deathless Guillotine as uh, an incursions option. But I am finding, as uh, you're going to see with the footage, like pre the the Awakening and post the Awakening, uh, it's still something that I think I need to high signature in order to get the maximization of uh, sustainability and survivability. This is a high survivability champion, but only if you awaken a champion. As it says here, the soul of our ancestors empowers Guillotine further, granting 10% chance to steal um, X amount of damage uh, done as health for every four souls uh, she possesses. In a nutshell, you want to get souls. In a nutshell, you want to uh, get crit to get souls to then be able to have this awakened ability, which grants you extra health back we're going to see it in action a bit later on and it is actually pretty good i actually relatively enjoyed myself so the one thing that i wanted to get from this champion or achieve from this champion is to use it in incursions for degeneration debuff in incursions you can add on a uh, debuff reinforcement degeneration uh debuff Post, it's like a debuff upgrade, debuff upgrade, degeneration. You can add on stuff that increases your debuff damage. I'm trying to remember all the hacks, but there's a way that if you amplify those, plus add in a critical rating boost, uh, which you can do, you can attribute boost, critical rating boost, it builds into the champion. This is why a lot of players do opt for using the critical rating uh, stat focus, because it adds on plus 132 on your critical rating, which is really important because, again, it plays into the champion. Now, this is a rank one. I don't know if I'm going to rank two. I need to see what's happening with King Groot. From a CTP perspective, we haven't been granted access to... Not I haven't, so maybe, I don't know, someone else has, but I would like access to that, that death as King Groot because, as I did say, this champion is, is good... But I feel like it's not like a champion you want to take in every piece of content. And it's got that kind of weird ceiling where it doesn't have any like wide amount of utility. It's just a champion that can do damage and do debuff damage. And soul accumulation to an SP3 and do damage. Because that's the other thing as well. Like I didn't opt to do SP3 rotations for the champion. But... It's an option there if I'm like, let's build up on my souls and let's go and do an SP3 because 2% of the opponent's max health in direct damage per soul after the attack. 50% of guillotine souls are consumed, rounded down. It does a nice chunk of damage. However, um, it's always difficult to say what is the opportune rotation for the champion depending on what you want to get out of it and as i said for me this is all about this champion being an option for um using in what is it called the uh, the incursions but kabam said okay kind of give they give the impression that you're going to need all of these deathless champions to then as a team 
two more. And that's going to be the biggest kind of thing about it is like, um, is that. So, um, yeah, I mean, these two synergies here, personal degen debuffs gain X amount of potency for each Deathless Champion. Would I take a Deathless King Groot in with this? Maybe, because that may be the option of Harbinger. Um, it could be something else in a different way. Uh, Deathless Harvester, which is the amount of max health required to gain a new soul is decreased by 2%. Could be helpful. Don't know. It's too early to test these things out. Uh, and of course, there's other kind of like Deathless and kind of gear team based uh, champions where it, it can be helpful. But again, depends on how you want to play and what you want to play and blah, 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 blah. blah. And depends on the content as well. But as I said, DGEN, DGEN amp Amplification was what I was looking to achieve. So let's run some footage. So footage number one is going up against uh, Medusa, which you can see um, on screen right now. This is in effect like, fisticuffs, which is not exactly kind of like helpful for the, um, well, it is and it isn't because there's gonna be that point in time where we build up, we build up, we build up. From a damage perspective, um, rank one um, of this champion, it's okay. Uh, it, it's okay. It's just a case of like, it depends what you want from it. Now, I built up to an SB3 on this one, mainly because uh, it, because of fisticuffs. Build up the souls. I'm not getting any degens. Uh, so, build up the souls. So, I can just do like a big SP 3 He says. He hopes. And he does a good chunk right there. So, that's a good chunk to kind of like showcase, especially after 27 uh, hits. We've got the yellow dot on screen. Uh, also, I decided to, uh, and we'll show, show in a minute, why I chose the... Um, uh, the Ghost Rider Relic, because I think that's another another really important element to this. So I'm quite fortunate to have a six-star Ghost Rider Relic uh, as we get rid of Cosmic Ghost Rider. Hey, he's uh, he takes a lot of damage uh, in that fight. But the reason that I chose this particular relic right here, the Ghost Rider Relic, is that um, the final hit inflicts a degeneration vulnerability debuff. Um, we've also got uh, Vicious Judgment. So when inflicted with degen vulnerability or stagger, inflict a non-stacking vicious passive. Uh, we've also got uh, the rune of direct damage potency, direct damage um, effect potency, so that improves the uh, the degen damage and also power gain potency because well i don't know maybe i'll switch it with something yet something else uh maybe i'll switch it with stagger i don't know i'll just keep it like that for the time being but it really helps out do a lot more damage and helps out the champion do a bit more degen damage and debuff damage so uh, i like that but let's go into some footage of the awakening so this is where things get really interesting now i've got hulk yes you're like well there's hulk there rich that's not uh guillotine um De death of guillotine well i really like hulk in incursions hulk is my goal go to because he's like uh he's rank three seven star for me he's just an absolute powerhouse if you're able to get the recommended uh hacks then he can be really effective and I've, I've showcased that in the past and we'll see that next month when we got the incursions event but here we go in action degen potency is up as well uh as you're gonna see armor break and that's another thing as well i chose i think it's is it rage no it's not rage into combat i do have buff cornucopia which helps and you can see there i regen a bit in some fights in a second you're gonna see me on uh lower health just really kind of like chew back health so you can see there start off in 58 percent i do have to wait because there's a heal block uh, debuff on me so i'm just kind of like ramping up i'm also watching the sp1 there for mysterio and uh down to 57 percent health as you can see top left heal block is gone going in with an sp1 you've got regen on at the moment and boom right there up to a hundred percent we've got a slow-mo right here of that in action and it's just really nice to go hey i'm gonna go and do an sp1 and go, I thank you for the health. And I top myself right back up again. And that's fantastic. This is a different example where I do take back some health. But of course, with that 10% flat for kind of uh, try to, trying to get up your health, it's not exactly going to be that every time. Of course, with Weapon X, I've got to like hang back a little bit and just make sure that uh, you know he does his thing. Good intercept right there. Do an SP1 up to 50% from about 38% health right there. So it's nice. I really would like to get this champion up to a higher signature, but it's, it's just costly. And also, it, we have to be very careful as a community how far we invest into these deathless champions without knowing the full picture of what they can offer and i'm not saying that champion's bad i'm just saying that we don't know the full picture until you know the full picture um when it comes to these champions these deathless champions i think then we'll start making a bit of a a beeline to take them up further 
And that's always a concern because they're such a premium to get. Like they're, they're very difficult to get. They're very hard to get. So we have to be very careful about this particular investment. But yeah, I wanted to showcase uh, this and show and show that she is uh, she's a bit of a monster. And I do enjoy free incursions. I probably will use it in sector four and or sector five, which that footage is taken from. From sector six. Uh, I will probably start still use my Hulk because he is fantastic. And uh, yeah, I've already done a video on that, which you should see a later date. But what are your thoughts on these Deathless Champions? Will you be getting a six star, awakening it and taking it further? Have you no intention of getting the pieces? What are your thoughts? Put it in the comment section. Check out some other content located on screen. And I'll see you all soon. Much love and goodbye.